Hey guys, so we had another good episode of Survivor, although um, really this one was only good because of Tribal Council. Uh, I don't know what that scene with Dawn was about. I don't even know what the purpose of that was, even in the trailer last week. I mean, making that whole um, teaser about what was going down with Dawn, and it was just so, you know, everyone, including myself, was talking about how she might quit, how that would reflect on the game, how that would result, what that would result in for each alliance, etc, etc, and yet it was just like lack of sleep. So I don't know what that was for, um, except maybe for giving Brenda her first confessional of the season, which lasted all but Two, all of two seconds um, and really only served to tie her to Dawn in some way, which kind of surprised me. Um, but I feel like if they showed that and she said that, it must mean that um, they are pretty tied. And you did see that at Tribal when Brenda and Dawn were like whispering to each other at that, at that point. Um, uh, the reward challenge really didn't show us any insight into strategy, so I'll kind of gloss over that. Um, the idol was amazing, finding it, um, having Malcolm show them that he found it, so giving him, therefore, the opportunity to, you know, make it look like he was going to play it and then not play it, uh, which, obviously, he didn't end up doing. Um, Tribal was unbelievable. It was so good of Malcolm to give his idol to Eddie. I honestly thought that, A, he wasn't going to play his idol, given his track record of trying to really milk those idols as long as possible. I thought... I thought he was going to go home with, with two idols in his pocket, uh, but he did play his idol and he gave it to Eddie, which was great and it was the best move because he needs those three people. He cannot afford to lose any more members of that alliance. So um, that was brilliant and no one knew. It was epic because if he had told Eddie, Eddie might have told Andrea again and, and something, uh, Andrea, sorry, <laughs> again, and something might have happened. And uh, um, so it was really brilliant for him to keep it under wraps that way. I, I did also think he wasn't going to play it until Eric all of a sudden had this like brilliant streak of strategy and saying that hey maybe they're saying they're going to play it but it doesn't mean they really are um, and I don't think anyone else would have thought of that if Eric hadn't said it and sure enough everybody did vote the same way they usually did so very glad that Malcolm and Eric played the idol but um, Eric is the one who voted for Philip so that was kind of ironic. Um, so yeah, it, it also shows a lack of consistency in Eric's strategy, and uh, as we're going to see, Eric like might be swayed next episode, and again, I, I don't know how trustworthy he is, so that worries me a little bit. Um, also, why Philip? Like, why? I, I, I thought maybe um, the three amigos, as they were referred to, were pulling another stump, but it, it wouldn't have made sense for them to do that um, unless they were trying to get South RS to play against each other, which would have been good, I mean, to see, like, split votes that way, as long as it was one of them leaving. Um, but I don't get why they ended up voting out Philip. Philip was a good choice, I mean, annoying, sure, but a good choice to bring to the end. And um, now it really just leaves more and more, like, only smart people in there. Um, I mean, not that everyone's super smart, but Malcolm, Eric made that comment, which is clearly very insightful. Andrea's not stupid. Don and Cochran, Cochran certainly not. Brenda either. So, I mean, we've got a lot of smart people in the mix, so it'll definitely shake things up. Um, I do wish Corinne were in that jury. I was not Corinne's biggest fan, but I know a lot of people are and a lot of people do love her and I think her sassiness would have made the jury um, quite exciting as well. Um, so what's next? We see that Sherry and Eric are trying to uh, be included in, or that Malcolm is trying to include Sherry and Eric in, in his alliance. Um, Sherry says if you can't beat him, join him. Sure, but honestly, Sherry's not playing a good game at this point. Um, she's going to be in the bottom of no matter what alliance she's on, so now, I mean, I guess she can think on where she would be a little bit higher up, and I think she probably would be a little bit higher up in Malcolm's uh, Eddie and Reynolds Alliance, but not by much. Like, Sherry's just been flip-flopping all over the place, and it's a bit disappointing to see that. Um, Eric, again, like, unreliable. He could say yes one minute and then could be swayed the next. It's really not, uh, not a reliable thing. To be honest, I think Andrea would be the most likely to flip, and I say that only because Brenda and Dawn were, like, whispering to each other at Tribal, and, and, and uh, Brenda kept saying Andrea, and Andrea does have, um, you know, a track record of being a little 
a bit too strategic and they were commenting on how she was hanging out with the guys. Um, so I think uh, now that with Philip gone and Philip and Andrea, and Andrea seem pretty tight, I think that Andrea would be the most likely to flip if we think that, I think Cochran definitely would not, Don definitely would not, if Brenda's tied to Don then that means Brenda definitely would not. Um, so that leaves, uh, yeah, Sherry, Eric, and Andrea. And uh, Eric, again, like I said, isn't reliable. So yeah, that would be that would be my vote, trying to get Andrea. Um, honestly, I think it's still smarter for the former Stelthoras, I guess, to stick together and try to vote Malcolm, Eddie, and Reynolds out, because now they have no leverage, and their only leverage is to try and flip two people. It's hard enough to flip one. I really don't know how they're going to pull that off. I just... I just, they have no protection, like maybe new idols are put in the game and maybe, you know, Reynolds and Malcolm's skills in searching for them will pan out, but it's like, how many idols are you going to put in the game? You know, I feel like there should be a limit. It shouldn't just be put back into play when one is used. I mean, we've seen, what, four of them being played now, <clears throat> so I don't know how I feel about that. Uh, but yeah, let me know your thoughts and what you're looking forward to, what your predictions are, and if you're, like me, still kind of rooting for Malcolm, but also logically or strategically speaking, don't see it happening, or, yep, comment below and check out my blog as well, and follow me on Twitter and everything, and I look forward to the conversation. Bye.